Ships in America's ports bring in more goods from China than the United States exports to the Asian nation. A key reason is that many U.S. companies have transferred their manufacturing to China, a process called offshore outsourcing. Many Americans have lost their jobs because of this. But Rosemary Coates, who has helped companies outsource, see some change. And as China has built its industrial manufacturing base, it's become very attractive. So not only is it less expensive to manufacture there, but all your suppliers are there. The whole infrastructure is there. But we're seeing some reversal in that now. So in the last year or two, there's been uh, a lot of attention paid to reshoring. Reshoring is bringing manufacturing and services back to the United States. While visiting some retail stores in New York, Coates says the shopper plays a major role in where products are manufactured. The price of shoes may go up, in fact, um, if they're produced in the U.S. from U.S. products, but we expect to get most of the pricing back within about 10 to 15 percent of the international price. So, you, you know, you have to make a decision as a U.S. consumer whether you want to pay the extra 10 or 15 percent to buy a product that's made here. Major American corporations like Apple manufacture in China but sell in the U.S. Same for GE, Dell and others. In Washington, with unemployment in the U.S. at 6.7 percent, manufacturing and jobs are a political issue. According to New York University professor Natalia Levina, there are good business reasons to bring manufacturing back to the U.S. mainland. One of them is the higher productivity of U.S. labor aided by advancements in computer technology makes it even higher. Other reasons might be uh, the need to keep inventory levels low means that manufacturing has to be close to consumption. However, cheap labor in China and other countries will continue to constrain reshoring to the U.S. in the near term says Coates. It isn't a matter of just chopping off production and bringing it back to the U.S. It's really a thoughtful process of design, of automation, of innovation, um, and localization of the product, and then being able to produce that for the local market. As imports from China continue to be unloaded on America's docks, analysts say it will take business ingenuity to develop new products, new markets, and new American jobs. Bernard Schussman, VOA News, New York.